Hello guys, I'm Saturnax and in today's video I'm just showing you the capabilities of the Acer Natural 5 in editing the videos. Let's go! So as you may know, the Acer Natural 5 is my primary laptop. I use it for gaming as well as editing and web browsing. I do everything on the laptop. And in this video I just want to share with you my experience of editing videos on the laptop. So the software that I'm using for editing my videos is called DaVinci Resolve. Let's open it up and let me just show you how it is to edit the videos on the laptop. Yes, so as you can see, these are all of the videos that I've prepared for you guys on the laptop. And all of the videos are made in uh, uh, 1080p because this is the resolution that I'm mainly recording in. And today's video will be also in 1080p and 60 frames. Then we'll just move on into the 4K. And you will see what's the difference between the 1080p 60 and the 4K 24fps. Yes, so we're currently in the uh, settings. And uh, let's go for 60 frames. Let's go here. 1080p resolution, let's click save and now let me just ask you some clips um, and here's the clip that I want to edit yes, so as you can see the playback is really smooth and smooth 60 fps, I don't have any drops and, it's, and so far it's really easy to edit and to go through the timeline um, yeah, you can just scroll between the um, sections of the clip and it's not any big deal. As you can hear, the fans are just spinning with the higher frequency. Uh, now what I'm just going through the timeline because um, uh, the usage of the CPU and some other components are on a higher level. Uh, as you can see, we're just oscillating around 65-65% 65, 65 of the CPU while just going through the timeline and uh, that's it. The next really important thing is the memory. Um, I used to have 16 GB of memory but the RAM that I was just upgrading on a previous video came out to be faulty and I had to uninstall this. Yeah but as you can see the timeline is really smooth you can just go through it without any any problem and it's really comfortable. Now we can see with what frequency the fans are spinning. So we're getting around uh, 4411 RPM on the CPU and 4166 on the GPU. We're just sitting at around 77 Celsius degrees on our CPU. And the temperature of the GPU is just the 48 degrees. So yeah, it's not perfect, but pretty much on every other laptop you will get the similar performance, so... Okay guys, so as you can see, I've got a video prepared. The clips have been separated and now let me just add here some text and some other um, add-ons to the video, such as uh, music and etc. Um, so first, maybe let's go with the text and let's add here some titles. Yeah, like this. Now let me also add here some fade in, fade out our video to make it look a little bit more realistic and better. So this is the stuff that I'm just normally doing for my videos. I don't do any hard color grading. Because and uh, as you can see, the playback is really smooth. We're just getting around 60 FPS, so it shouldn't be a problem for you to edit the videos in 1080p, 60 frames per second. It's totally fine if you do this type of videos. Easy for you to edit them on the device. Um, 
Let me also add here some transitions because these are pretty cool. We're gonna just add here some uh, transitions to the videos. Let's go through the master bin. Yeah, so as you can see, I've got the pack of the transitions for the DaVinci Resolve. I've got a bunch of these, like a zoom, zoom in, zoom out, and then stuff like this. So, um, let's see how it looks like. Yeah, we have the transition like this, which is cool, it's the zoom in. And now, let me just go, and um, at the end of the video, I will just add here the zoom out. Which will play out pretty cool. And as you can see... And the part where we do have the transition, the, the playback is not as smooth as it used to, but it's totally enough for you guys to edit this. You shouldn't have any, completely any problem with uh, adding here the transitions like this. It's really smooth and responsive. You can just um, add here really, really cool transitions and just see how it looks like on a full screen. Yeah, even on a full screen, you're just getting around 30 FPS, 30, 24 FPS uh, while being on the uh, transition part, so it shouldn't be any any problem for you to edit the video, this type of the videos with the transitions. Now let me add here some music and some cool stuff such as bell icon and um, subscription um, button, it'd be pretty cool. Now let me just add here some music and we'll see how much it takes for a laptop to render the video. And we do have our video completely done and ready for the render. So let me just go to the render tab and uh, we'll see how much it will take for the laptop to render the full video in 1080p 60 frames per second. Let's start and uh, let's start. Yes, it's done. Yeah, so it took 11 minutes and 12 seconds for the video to be uh, rendered on the Acer Nitro 5 with 8 gigabytes of RAM and i5 9300H. Uh, you can just reduce the time by adding a little bit more of RAM. The maximum amount of the RAM that you can add to the laptop is 32 gigabytes. So, so here we have the video. Uh, it doesn't have uh, errors and everything is um, like it should be. So pretty cool. And uh, now let me just save the video and uh, we'll just try to edit some 4K footage. So let's just go and create a new project. Let's call it 4K. Let's just go with 24 frames per second and now let me just select the, um, the 4K footage. Yes, so we have the 4K selected and 24 frames per second. Uh, let me just add here some 4K uh, files and let's play this. So without any um, additional uh, files and some other tweaks, we're just unable to get the full uh, 24 frames per second. It's pretty smooth. It takes a little bit more or maybe the same. Yeah, it's the same. Um, time to actually go to the different parts of the footage of the clips um, yeah it's pretty smooth 24 frames per second 4k resolution laptop can handle this without any any problem now let me just add here some transitions mm. Yes, so we got a problem. The DaVinci Resolve quit unexpectedly. I think that it was... Yeah, for sure. So if you wanna edit the 4K footages on your laptop, you need more than 8 gigabytes of RAM. As you can see, the RAM is now oscillating at around 94%, which is totally um, over the limits. We shouldn't even just try doing this, but um, it's just the purpose of the video. Um, uh, let's just ignore. You know what? We'll just try it again. 
yeah scrolling through the timeline without any uh, transitions in the 4k 24 frames per second um, it is really smooth to be honest I don't have any lags yes so as you can see due to my uh, GPU memory I'm not able to edit the video properly I wasn't able to edit it, but I can render it so the resolution is too big for my 3 gigabytes on the GTX 1050 unfortunately if you have a laptop with GTX 1050 or lower you won't be able to edit the videos in 4k um, yeah so the conclusion is you are enabled to edit the videos in 4k 24 frames per second with the GTX 50 on the board on the Acer Nitro 5 but, but you won't be able to render the file so yeah go for the GTX 1650 and uh, you will have the better performance in games and, uh, and also in, uh, in editing um, yep so that's it I hope you enjoyed the video make sure that you leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and see you in the next one bye